There's some new workflow that is enabled by Cloud 3.7 that many people didn't know yet. With just one single prompt, you can get Cloud to design the whole application's UI, which you can turn into a fully functional, beautiful application with nice UI. And this is a workflow I want to share with you today. So Cloud 3.7 has been released for a few weeks. And one of the key improvements is Cloud 3.7 is just insane about UI implementations. You can just give it a random mocap like this, and it'll be able to turn into beautiful high quality UI like that. And this enables some of the new AI coding workflow that is extremely helpful. And one of my favorite is this two-step process that can making sure the UI output from Cloud 3.7 is much better than the normal ones you would have out of the box. And this is really huge because AI coding agents like Cursor and WinServe hasn't been really great at creating UI. If you want application to look really good, the state of our method is using existing UI component library like ShaCN, Daisy UI, and a few others. But if you wanted to build something really customized, it normally would struggle. But as model capabilities became stronger now, it's the first time I feel like it can produce high quality custom UI. So I will take you through step-by-step step what my process look like and how can you replicate something similar for your own dream apps. But before we dive into that, Cloud has been a real killer not only for UI generation, but also many other day-to-day -day automations. They released a ton of interesting features from projects, integrations, artifacts, as well as the latest analysis tool. And sometimes even I feel like I'm not catching up with all the features that they have been released. So I'm always curious, how does other top AI experts fully unleash the potential of those cloud capabilities? That's why I want to introduce you to this free ebook, Complete a Guide to Cloud AI, made by HubSpot CMO Kip and VP Marketing Kieran. And if you don't know who Kieran is, he has been in AI for a long time and shared lots of good insights and practical workflow for utilizing AI to automate work. And they talk through how HubSpot content team is utilizing cloud features like projects, artifacts, analysis tool into their workflow, as well as specific prompts that got them high quality results versus bad ones. And they showcase some of really interesting use case. For example, they talk us through how they they upload the whole quarter's marketing results CSV to cloud and ask it to generate interactive dashboard so that senior leaderships can just come and dig into data themselves. And my favorite section is where they demonstrate a content optimization system that they build upon cloud from how they go from SEO enhancement to cross-channel adoption, performance tracking, and content repurposing. So I highly recommend you take a look at this to either discover all the tricks and tips or a sneak peek of how top AI experts are implementing those AI workflow in cloud so that it might inspire some new business ideas for you. I have put a link in the description below for you to download this ebook for free. And now let's get back to how can we get Cloud 3.7 to build an application that has beautiful UI. So I'm going to open cursor and give it a prompt. You are a senior front-end developers and specify very specific design style that I want. And this prompt I have tested and works pretty well, as well as some technical specifications. Like each page should be in this specific size and icons we should use online vector icon library. The images must be sourced from open source image websites. The style should be Tailwind. And now I'll give it a task. This is an AI calorie calculator app where users can take a picture of food and auto extract nutrition and simulate the product manager's detail functional and information architecture design, follow the design style and technical specifications to generate a, a complete UI design plan and create a UI.html file that contain all the pages that display in a horizontal layout and generate the first two pages first. So with just prompt itself, it can already generate really gorgeous UI out of box with interaction animation as well. But what you can also do is give it some image reference. For example, in our case, I can just take a screenshot of the Cal AI app and come back to cursor, paste this image in, and click send. Great. So if we open this, you can see that this UI looks pretty awesome. Very likely you might need to try a few different times. Uh, like for me, I tried actually a few different times. Each time some part might didn't look right and I will either just ask it to run again or give some prompt to adjust the style. But if you want to make some a specific adjustment, I can also take a screenshot of this part and come back saying the 1250 calories left text is not vertically center aligned. Help me fix it and make it look more balanced. Cool. And you can see it made some updates and now it looks uh, more balanced for the text above. Same thing, we're also going to update the next page as well. So I'll just come back and take a screenshot of the original mockup and the paste in. Help me update the second screen based on the mock up. So 
Great, now you can see that this two page all looks pretty decent and awesome. So I can just tell you, great, UI looks awesome. Don't change the UI, just add some interaction animations. And now it will have some kind of hover interactions when you hover those buttons, which looks pretty nice. Once it's done, I can also ask it to continue with more pages. Great, those two pages looks awesome. Keep the same quality and continue creating more pages of the app. And I will just do the same thing, update a page or a page. Uh, like this one, the spacing looks a bit off and I will take a screenshot and tell it. The spacing looks a bit off, please update. Cool, so after a few prompts, I got this UI that looks pretty awesome. And you can obviously continue going to create more pages and flesh out the whole application. But now it is still just a static page. How can we turn this into a proper web app? So what I'll do here is that I will give a prompt if I want to turn this into a proper Next.js web app. What UI components should I create? Don't generate files yet. Just think and plan for now and just focus on the minimum amount of UI components. And here you go, it start defining the list of components. And this step is actually pretty critical. I found when I ask it to just go create an app, it often failed to replicate a similar UI. But once you ask it to break down specific components, then it becomes a bit easier for them. And next, what I will do is I will try to set up a project and I'm just going to use chat and command line, which comes with Tailwind on the next JS. And meanwhile, I'm going to copy this text and save it into plan.md so that we can have a reference about the component that it's supposed to create. So I'll give it prompt. Great, I've moved the plan to plan.md. I've set up a next JS project in my app folder. Now let's build the first components of app layout and screen layout, which is first few components but making sure to read the Next.js project structure to make sure things are in the right place. And after implement each component, add a check mark in plan uh, so we can keep track about what's left. And this process will take a while. You kind of just need to wait and see. Cool. And now if I open it, you can see that it had turned this into a web application and everything looks exactly like what we had before. And all we need to do is just ask it to do step by step. So I will just continue prompt it. Great. Now let's do the bottom navigation bar and header in navigation folder. And again, I will just continue ask it to do more components. Cool. So now you can see it check out all the pages that it's supposed to create. And if I switch to the Next.js app, you can see that this app looks exactly like the UI we have before. You can change the number here. You'll also have analytics page as well as setting page. And each component is fully functional. All you need to do is just start building backend function. So this example of how can you create a V0 level UI without V0, which means you don't have to be limited by chassis and components. You can literally ask Cloud 3.7 to create any sort of styles that you like and building your own component library. If you want to learn more in depth about that specific Cloud 3.7 design process, as well as the prompt that I've been using, you can join the AI Builder Club community I'm building, where I have listed out all the detailed prompt and process. Plus, I'm releasing this AI coding tool called 10xcoder.dev for the AI Builder Club members to try for free, which is basically a platform where you can go and describe the project that you want to build, like a note-taking app. You can upload some screenshot as well. And based on that, it will start generating some cursor rules around the UI, help you break it down into specific features that might require to build this app, as well as design the project structure and database schema. But most importantly, in the end, you will be able to export a Next.js project that you can open in Cursor or WinSurf. They already have the user authentication, Stripe payment, and Superbase backend set up. I will continuously sharing more content as well as building exclusive tools for community members. If you're interested, you can click on the link in the description below to join the community. I hope you enjoyed this video and very keen to see what type of UI you start building with Cloud 3.7 designers. Thank you and I'll see you next time.